guys are gay, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, despite what the overlay says, this is, uh, this is the first fall bi-weekly for WCSU. This is not the Candlewood Monthly. Okay. I'm gonna call out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read all the time. If you don't hear your tag, let me know so I can put you in. Cardinal, Toucan, Microwave Your Head, Rectum Ravager, uh, the single most strongest and important entity on the planet. Sponsored by Adam Lurie, owned Utah Jazz, Comedy Central presents Rico Scopo only tournament. <laughs> 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 Ozone. Ozone. No, I got sponsored by the Utah Jazz. Lincoln, 840. Park at the Costco. Uh, sponsored by Trump. Make Melee great again. KFC manager in the low town zone. Um, I don't even know what that sponsor is. Uh, Papa Frank will run. Uh, uh, what? Discus Comfy. CPU XX. Noob Noob. Nick Cage's Libido. <laughs> don't know, Phil and A9. Is there anyone I didn't call? Everyone in there? Okay. I'll say clear. I thought I'd submit it. One second, guys. I'm going to post it all. Oh my god, no, that would have sucked so bad. I would have unplugged. I would have unplugged. Oh! I actually would have unplugged if that happened. Shit. Dude, I Oh. Oh. Wow, look at this. White Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. the bottom of the stage. Oh, my God, you got fucked. You got fucked. Hey, hey, hey. All right. I got everyone in bracket. Okay, so for those of you who are new here, we go counterclockwise around the room when I call a setup number. This one by the door is one, and then two. That's not counterclockwise! Clockwise, clockwise, sorry. Sorry, it's clockwise. Great start. I'm recording. Clockwise around the room. One, two, three, so on. And this is recording TV, this recording setup. So we're going to have Noob Noob and Nick Cage's libido on TV1. Um, we're going to have. Papa Franku and A9 on TV2. Yo, are you coming? We're gonna have yeah, I'll come bit. the Lone okay, Cow Zone there. and Phil <laughs> on, on TV3. Uh, yo, Phil? So yeah, wow. We're gonna have uh, CPU, yo. <laughs> CPU XX and Love. Real nice of him to make it out! <laughs> He's here. I knew contact him. Viscous Comfy and Dono on TV5. Shut up! KFC manager and Tux on TV6. That first fair bear was pretty sick. What? Can you hear me, dude? Yeah. I just didn't hear what you said. I said that reverse fair uh, down air was really sick. That shit was light. Let's be realistic. X sucks. Not a good sign I'm mad, for... I'm mad that fucking sword dance didn't hit, though. I'm so mad. <laughs> you tried. I tried really hard. You tried to that really, dance. really hard. Not a good look for Rico's Falco. No. He's going Falco only the entire tournament, too, so he's anal. What's up? I turned the shit up. Uh, it's on this. It's on the thing. Oh, that's better. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, so we got Justan and Will. Is that what's going on? Justan and Will? It says stop recording. Start recording. Stop recording. Yeah, it's a stop recording. I'm gonna try and. There's so many fucking cables. Can I, like. Justin? I don't want to like pull. Yes. I want to let you know you are in scenic, not in the camera. <laughs> Can you please go to scenic in the camera All right. for the stream? If you're on stream, that is. 
I don't know what's going on. Here. Uh, no, you don't have to move it up. It's fine. It's just you're still not in it. Alright. Yeah, you're good now. If you stay right yeah, there, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Took my ass. Yeah. Yep. Let me just roll over all these cables. You're a bigot, John. Alright, what's going on? Alright, we got Luigi Marth. Best matchup in the game, round one. You like the overlay? He seems very pleased about this matchup. What? You like the overlay? Huh? My man, do you like the overlay? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was going to say, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, the overlay is sick. Oh, shit. I like the Candlewood monthly overlay we have, Sean. <laughs> Wait, don't start, please. Technical difficulties in the form of a Candlewood monthly setup. Oh, wow. There it is. We're good. Can we do names or nah? Nah, fuck names. I just got to realign the camera and we're good. And uh, I think you have to realign Melee, too. Yeah, we'll just say the names. Yeah, yeah. Just realign the, the Melee. Hey. I'll be a bit deep out. One second, guys. Yeah, the game's a little bit. How about you just ask them to start a match so they. No, no, no. You can do it from here, for sure. So, like, we're fine now. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, uh. Hold on, one sec, guys. There it is. Alright, guys, you're good to go. Alright, what's the matchup? Luigi, unless Sean's not playing Luigi, it's Luigi. I thought I saw Marth. Marth. He's playing Pikachu? That's my Pikachu. guy. For the boys. This matchup okay. sucks. I don't think people get out bad. All right. Is. For Pikachu? All right, well, I've played enough Pikachu against Sean for a lifetime, so hopefully he's learned something. Not oh not. my god. <laughs> Neutral B is right in his face. Clearly not. Oh, oh no, but at least, at least Justin doesn't know either. Oh, I like that up smash, though. Trading with Pikachu is actually really good, because a lot of his moves are really good. Oh. He's fine. It's like impossible. Ooh. Oh yeah, the May or like the drift. That was, that was a good. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go like you, you can't like go to the platform as Pikachu because you're just like active yeah. there against Marth for too long. So like the optimal thing is obviously to go for ledge or to like ledge cancel or to go into him. And then like if he hits you, it's fine because like there's no way to set up a tipper guaranteed out of it. Oh oh no. Oh drop down. Yeah, I think he tried to shield drop and he didn't get it. I don't think he wanted raw grab. He's like, this is like the clearest <laughs> F-Smash bait. Justin like does a bunch of like, okay yeah. stuff. Yeah, okay. Sean doesn't know the, the angles, I don't think, very well. If he knows the angles, this matchup's a lot easier. But Pikachu still can get edge guarded. Oh, oh! <laughs> electricity into electricity, that was nice. They're Definitely reversed. up tilt, sweet spot, at the very tip, when they're behind you. With a kill straight up there, but... Oh, this is uh, this is unsafe. <laughs> yeah, no, you can just do that all day. The moment Marth stops jabbing, he just like loses. I don't like how he's trying to contest every hit. As like against Marth, like you can't just like get hit and then contest. It's just too hard. Oh, that waveland jab. That was good. Jab he was... tried to read a roll there, I think. Oh, interesting. That's... That probably would have tippered too. So I'm very that glad. That saved he did his it. life. Yeah. Oh, just messed it up. I was gonna say, roll in, just take the damage. <laughs> I'm 99% sure he. Tr oh oh my god. God, his shield is like non-existent. Yeah, I'm 99% sure he just tried to like fucking Luigi down B, but like, he's not playing Luigi. <laughs> yeah. With that side B? Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe you should have asked for a warm up game. Or Pikachu something? doesn't need to drift though, is a thing. Like, you can just like up B to the, the ledge. It's like the best option in the game. You there have to. There we go. Never mind. I was gonna say you have to thunder there, but he was confident. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright, just making sure. Yeah, yeah, you're all good. Oh. Yeah, these are the combos though. Marth actually has like some slight Pikachu combos. They're not bad. Yeah, see, so, like he doesn't know it. Yeah. You have to drop very low. There oh, you go. There it is. There's that one too, which you don't have to drop low for. Oh, oh messes up. Oh, okay. He has another chance. Oh no. Yeah, he's not using up air the right way though. Up air is a very important tool in this matchup. Also, wave dash out of shield. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say that he's not doing that either. Oh. Is he dead? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, let's see that wasn't if he goes. Bad. It wasn't that bad, but. Battlefield's not, um, it's not a bad stage for Marth. Definitely not. It's probably a good or a better one. 
But uh, in this matchup, yeah. I think that Marth probably wins. But he's gonna go to Luigi and probably uh, what like Fountain, Dreamland. I won't. I won't. I'm, I'm gonna say Dreamland. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Dreamland. Because I'm guessing that he's banning. Poke? Maybe ban Dreamland. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because you don't go Yoshi's for sure. I forgot this is 2 out of 3. Yeah, Marth can't really get anything after that. After 4 throw. Yep. So, like, this is a hard matchup. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, Luigi gets destroyed by Marth uh, really hard. But. If you don't know what you're doing against Luigi, you just lose. Oh, and that's yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's not a character-specific trait of Luigi. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know how to keep him away, if you don't know how to deal with this pressure, you just die. You have to roll away there, but Justin messes up the timing on a S-Smash, and it should be okay. Oh. Yeah, that, that I was going to say, be. I don't think he was high enough percent for that to actually work as a true combo. I thought he was going to be. So. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There's There's stock if he just Grab gets the ledge. There you go. Good shot. Okay. So 81% is like nothing. Against Luigi? Nah. Oh. I like that. Yeah, that, that's a mix up. It basically stops your timing. So, like, if they try and read where you're going to land, you can down B and it messes up the timing because your character, like, either falls straight down or falls down faster. You can do, like, double jump that, like, right there, and it just, like, really messes up timings. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you have to DI away here. Takes his money. Oh, it's a the weird Pokemon interaction there. Yeah, the Pokemon ledge. He's fine, though. Yeah. I don't like yeah, roll don't, there. Yeah, yeah this is such there. a hard situation for every character against Marth. You go on stage here for sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just yeah. Oh, got him. Okay. Combo. Oh. In. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, he <laughs> gets a narrow. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is so weird. Order. Yeah, Luigi has a really hard time there because he can't get around it yeah. because his uh his. So like certain characters could right like like Jigglypuff because she can just tournament winner, but you can't do that oh, as Luigi. Okay. All right, so he gets a charge there, which is important because I don't see Luigi just dying straight up unless he gets tippered. So like now he can use down B if he wants to, which he's probably gonna do it right here. Oh, uh, he no. I think he messed up. He either he either messed up the match or he messed up the beginning and he wasn't on the ground when he started down B. Perhaps. Oh. Yeah, right here, you gotta spam there. It's the only option you have. Okay. Okay. There you go. Nice, I think okay. he's dead. That was like terrible DI. Yeah, Just reset yeah, the invincibility and he's dead. Okay, never mind, he's got the timing. Alright, so, up a stock, 80%. Pretty okay for Luigi. Tipper will kill, but then again, it is Luigi. So... Arguable that Tipper always kills. Yeah, Justin doesn't know how to deal with that. This isn't Fox. Like, his ledge dash goes the entire stage. Like, at least half screen, yeah. especially on Pokemon. Right, Pokemon's a longer stage, so I guess I'm not. I'm surprised he's not dead. Right there? Oh. Oh. That's such a good trade, though. Look at it. He took 50% for no reason. He messed up a wave dash out of shield there, I guarantee it. He's gonna go to the ledge, reset invincibility. It doesn't work. Like, yeah, no. Uncharged shield breaker is like garbage. It, it like, does nothing against shields. You have to charge it for a little bit. Oh, that was so safe. I love it. And right now, like, what do you do as your mod? This is rough. Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? You have to get something. Oh. That doesn't do anything, though. Yeah. No. And he's dead. Yeah, that's it. That was a really clean play, that stock. He took 100%, but he never really was in danger. The tree was very, very important. A lot of the damage got mitigated by it. And he traded like every hit. Yeah, he traded it from like zero to fifty. Yeah, exactly. that was crazy. Trading with Luigi is important. So this is like clear as day to me. He's gonna ban Fountain or uh, FD. Excuse me. Yeah, he's gonna ban FD. But this is hard. I actually would have liked to have seen him not ban this stage, or ban this stage rather. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, just wait. He just shield here. Okay. He's going over. Oh, he gets summoned. Ledge cancel. Down smash. Okay, not bad. That's a combo for sure. Oh, the game is getting interrupted a lot by Randall here. He jumped. He's fine, though. Oh, he just tried to do some crazy movement. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, that was unfortunate. I think I'm like 99% sure Justin could just F smash this, like, out of the down air. The back throw, excuse me. It's a good DI mix up. So he has Randall to go for. Uh, what you do there is you wait, because Randall's moving no matter what. Randall's a wait for you. Yeah, he's fine. You can wait as well, you do. 
Okay, this, this movement's looking a lot better. Yeah, this is, this is really clean, actually. The way you win on this stage as Marth is with tippers, and if you don't find any, it's not that it's a bad stage, but your combo game is, like, okay on this stage. It's not great. It's the punish game that's good. So, like, if you can just find... Ah, uh, messes up the wave dash. That was big, actually. Yeah, but he, he, he still can't figure out how to... Yeah, he can't figure to out how to get hits. That's a double. Double. Yeah, he might be dead here if he just grabs the ledge. Messes up a wave dash, I know he did. That was so sick. You can't do anything if you're Marth. If he's shield drop, if you know yeah. shield drop, it's over. <laughs> yeah, that was a shield drop moment. Ooh. But the movement Ooh. is so good. Yeah. It's floating. Oh, that was scary for a second. <laughs> oh, that was no. crazy. A little unfortunate, but I think it would have hit anyway. Oh no, he's... Yeah, now is where the bad times come in for... for... Yeah. Yeah, you can't stay in shield that long. There it is, nice. Found it. Was gonna try and poke with fair or maybe a nair, dash away, but instead, just gets hit. Up smash is a really good move. It's gonna have combo again. Oh, Never mind. Three, three in the row. Ah, I got him. Forward smash. Wait, oh, I think still, he's living. Oh, no. Never mind. He messed up, but. Randall was there too? Yeah, that he obviously like... did not want to up be. That's clear as day. Oh, he's dead? Yep. Oh, he shouldn't have I would like to see a double aerial. Alright, he, he can't let this lead go. Okay, he's letting it go. No, you can't you can't do that against Marth. You can't just jump at him. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh, the forward bees are coming out. Uh okay. Nice. They got shield poke too. Really would like to see some S smashes here, but I think he's dead now. Just grab it and roll now. There it is. Okay. He's one tipper away from dying though, so he needs to stay alive or stay. Oh god. Oh, that's it. Ah, that's close. Man. Close. One close. tipper. Yeah. I think. Uh... <laughs> it happens. <laughs> happens every game, every tournament. That was rough. Drake's brackets. But why do you think? Why do you think? <laughs> that never happened. What are you talking about? Recording set up one. Michael, your head versus Dono. Christian versus someone. Yeah. I don't know. We get to see Christian on stream. Hell yeah. Yeah, Christian versus someone I've never heard of. So we're gonna see a comp. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> Go eat it. We're gonna see. Go a eat it. Uh, huh? We're gonna see a combo video. Maybe. Depends on if this person who's playing is like spacey man or not. I don't know. Recording setup one. Someone named Dono. I don't know who Dono, Dono? is. Dono. Don't know who Dono is. There's, tell you that there's much. definitely not as many people in the room as there were when you called names. Your Dono. Who's Dono? We don't know. Oh, is it this guy? Yeah. It happens. <laughs> oh, yep, this is him. Alrighty. Not bad, not bad. Let's get a good angle of these guys, these beautiful men. Christian is sitting like all the way over. Yeah, I think you should just angle it at Christian, let this guy find his place. Not like that. There it is, perfect. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right, Fox Falco. The classic! Uh, haven't seen or heard of this of Dono before. So. What? That's crazy. Eric's definitely in the tournament enough. Let him eat. It's fine. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, battle. F we got the crew behind them. You see that? Yeah. They I got know. the the squad. Yeah, they're behind their boy. This is winners winners round two for anyone curious. So both these people won their first match. Oh wait, really? Yeah. All right. You have a match. 
Can I can I do this one first? All right. I have a match after this. Pro props of uh, knowing of uh, knowing the people who run the tournament is get to decide when your your matches. Yes. Hand warmers are legit. Looks legit. So Fox starts off by missing a Waveland, which is let's say mildly concerning. Goes for a tech and place read. Would have worked, but no tech and place. So Intelligently shields, but you can't really pressure that, or you can't uh, not respect that pressure, is what I should say. Just runs up grabs. Yeah, the so craziest mix up. Oh no. Just go to the ledge, you're fine. So, Fox has his back to him, so he's trying to go for those back airs, but yeah. he should be dead here. Yep. I don't know what Christian is doing there, but this is uh, not Fox. You do not try and spike. He messed up. You see that read? That was sick. Oh. What was that? Is that a crush cancel? What the heck? Uh, I think it was just like he, he like, did... Ooh, oh! Dead. Definitely dead. Definitely okay. dead. You can't jump there. Alright, yeah. Grab... Uh, oh, he's so, he's so UCF right there. Did you see the dash back? Yeah, dude. Just blast him, but... It's honestly not that good because he went for shine. That was an excellent laser. He's dead. Yeah. That was a sick laser. His, uh, crew, his crew is uh, laughing at him as he dies. He knows. He knows he got messed up by that laser. His crew knows. Crews don't laugh at you when you die, dude. When you're not when you're playing against someone else, nah. Interesting shield cook. Definitely hit the top of it. You can't contest Falco like that. Or anyone really. Oh my god. <laughs> like he's just on a platform shielding. Like all you have to do is not hit his shield and you'll probably be fine. Shine. He's fine, he is oh, yeah. he, he double jumped. I think he double jumped before he got hit. Yep. Yeah. Something in my gut tells me that wasn't legit, but it happened. Seems like an interesting down air. He like waited. Oh no. Oh no. Well, he goes for the weak hit so that way it doesn't uh, splat him on the ground. Very important yeah. there. Went for an up air there. Falco did. I'm pretty sure that was a tech flub. No one does falling up air, like, at 50. Who are you playing now? And dead. That's it. Oh. One shine away from making it an even match, but it doesn't happen. Uh. uh. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Sick. That's what it was. It was sick. He turns around and says, what the fuck was He goes, that? listen, you can have my ledge, cause I'm coming right back for it. <laughs> I hate this game sometimes, dude. All right, where are we going? All right. Well, I'm where imagining we he's either going to ban FD or... Ty is showing up looking like my dad. Battlefield? Look at him. Sh looking up like showing up like a homeless guy shows up to a soup kitchen. No big deal. Oh yeah, with nice. Battlefield course. safe pick. I don't really like it. Of all the counter picks you had available, you chose the neutraliest of neutral stage. It just doesn't seem weird. All right, or it I'm, out seem to, right. I'm out to play my match. You out to play your match? Solo commentary. Got yep. it. Yeah, right there with that edge guard, you just wait, and then it's kind of free. As long as you can make it back on stage and you can just make sure that you play your life a little bit, you'll be fine. Tries to check chase there with the down air, but doesn't take in place. What's going on, Brandoon? Brandoon will be joining me on commentary. Yeah. How you doing? How's the uh, tournament going? Hey, I won a game. That's all that matters. Yeah. Are you out? No, 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 I'm a loser. Oh, okay. She'll drop down air there, doesn't really respect it. Messes up a short, and I think he got like one of the mid angles. Question is playing this person not intelligently, but he's playing it like well, a Falco. Enough. well enough. Like a Falco. He's playing it well enough. <laughs> Tries to go for a little bit of movement there, but Christian's on the top platform. He's not shielding or anything. Well, I believe he just ground tech to shine. That's very important. Trade something there. I think it might have been there back here. Yeah, it gets around that movement. Uh, auto cancel back here is very hard to deal with. But if you uh, if you read it or if you react to it or whatever, if you can deal with it, it's actually really punishable because they jump obviously. So like they're in the air, they can't crouch cancel. Blah blah blah. But, you know, Shine's coming out that frame once they land, so, got him. That's me. 
Nick Cage's libido. You're out already? Yeah. Nick Later. Cage calls. Deuces. It's been a fun ride. And we're back to the solo. I said eight words and left. It's my guy. But this has turned into a slobber knocker. They're both just getting hits and they're trying to confirm out of it, but for reasons I won't go into in the commentary, they're not getting. Oh. Tries to go for some shine grab pressure. Doesn't bother edge guarding. Instead, just goes for the text collection exhibition. That's what it's all about. Back air? Nope. Just does shine. Hit him on stage. And this is kind of hard for Fox. One stray hit kills, as is showcased there. <laughs> One stray hit from Falco kills, because it's Falco and you're Fox. So the real mix up there is like who gets the first hit, and then what do they get with it? Because Falco probably gets a probably gets a good combo. Fox gets a kill. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Back air is there. I'm not sure if he was trying to read the tech option. If he tried to like shine, uh, tech the shine and then wall jump. Definitely got it. Got him. Ah, that was an excellent tech chase following carry from my man, Mike Wigrat. Little stock. microphone works. I have no indication of whether it... Hello? Yes? Oh, it does work. My cox does work. Okay, I just can't hear myself. Be... So, we have Sheik versus Mud. Uh, let me see. Do I have access to the bracket? If I have access to the bracket, then I can see. Not, not sure who's who. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of them is Jacob. <laughs> Is it? I'm gonna try and pull up the challenge bracket. Maybe I can do it myself. I don't mind doing the work, you know. Just the reason it's all not there. Oh shit! 
<laughs> maybe I shouldn't have maybe I shouldn't have turned on Firefox. But I do know is that uh I'm pretty sure Jacob is Okay. I've seen Jacob's Mars, Jacob's Mars not bad. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love having long arms. Crouch shot. There we go. There we go. Almost. Okay. Alright. No, what is this nonsense? I didn't press that button, I don't know what's going on. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just really wanted to see what their tags were. Like, in general, the guy who's updating the stream should have the access and inf information. But what can I say? Yo, Jacob, are you sheep? Yeah, Jake is Marth. Oh, he's Marth, never mind. What's your name? Eric, okay. So it's Eric versus Jacob, and I don't have their tags. Brian, can I get the tags of the people who are on stream? Uh, this is Duke, Duke versus Tux. Tux, okay. Okay, exit Eric is Tux, so here we are. I kind of want to try and see if I can put the tags of the score up on Yeah, but wh where, where would they be, though? Like, I'm not sure. Right there. There and there? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Let me try. You want to try it? All right. I, I, I would do it, but I'm not really willing to, like, mess up their interface. Tag one. Oh, we have them. They're just not, they're stable. Okay. There we go. All right. So we have to enable it and then type in who they are. I believe Mars won the last game. Yeah, he was. Or the Sheik won the last game, I forgot. You were actually playing attention to the game, so I don't know. <laughs> well, they're on Battlefield, so I'm going to assume it was uh, it was uh, Sheik that w lost the last game. I don't think Mark would counter the Battlefield. Yeah, the Sheik is Tux. Alright, so Sheik one? Okay. Nice. Simple enough. Alright. I don't really I don't really have anything insightful to say. I'm not very good at this game. Alright. Uh alright. Dash tags. Obviously Sheik versus Mars. Like the only advice anyone ever gives you in this matchup is don't jump. Just stay stay down because Sheik has a really hard time getting down. And Sheik has a very good time juggling Marth that's in the air. Uh, Marth is offstage. She can trivially edge guard. Can dip down, can grab ledge, all that. And she gets in, Marth is really careless. I also think that she wins this match. Just because she easily gets in. That was a good year, though. Alright, so a little stall. Just, just chill and wait. Zelda. Ooh, it, it worked. Yeah, the gimmicks worked. All right. Try to space that. You need to walk that. You can't just uh, stand in place. Yeah. Well, there are, there are people who will move into you, who will uh, optimize. But this is not a very optimal Sheik. It's kind of like a just hold uh, the control stick in their direction and press A. Alright, I think that's enjoy. Yep, it does. No four stock. See if he gets a J4. Good grab. Chain grabs. <laughs> Low percent if you get a grab on Marth, it's ridiculous. Like, you get fewer guaranteed follow ups as Marth. That's one of the main reasons that this is a bad uh, matchup. That's it? Yep. JP4. Didn't even have to do anything. Alright, I think it's going to play a game, so. So I'm gonna swap I'm gonna hop out because I gotta get the point. Alright. Alright. Alright, everyone. This is your host, Prime Minister Daijobu. And Tux1, Tux2O.
All right. <laughs> Super insightful. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me take care of that, Lewis. I'm just waiting until you're both in the focus, and then I'll just uh, ready to go. We got them both to two out of three. You want to commentate, Sean? Sure. Wait, who's commentating? You're commentating? Sean's commentating. Yeah, he's he's going to commentate. You have a matchup, but I'll let you commentate first. Okay, so Sean's in for a minute. I'm here because I'm... Yeah, we can't hear each other very well, or ourselves. So that's all right. Oh, can we actually move this and hear ourselves? I don't know. Okay, testing. Sorry, testing, testing. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Uh, okay, so we got Froby versus Toucan. Oh, Struck here, huh? Uh, mm -hmm. I can see why Lewis would want to ban Battlefield. A lot of Marts complain about this matchup. A lot of Ice Climbers especially complain about this matchup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all I took. Just one random ass smash. So, FOD is small. Which means you can't escape Mars sword that easily, but... Uh, just... Oh! <laughs> oh, that was, that was a good match out. You can, of course, match out the wobble. Just uh, only for a first moment. As soon as the second... Uh, as soon as Nana hits you, you can no longer match out. So, that's an interesting situation. The wobble is not guaranteed, so we just uh, F-smash instead. Best follow-up you could get. Pretty much every time Ice Climbers follows you, it doesn't end at the grab. It, it's either going to be a wobble or something else. For sure. So... <laughs> yeah, it, it augments your momentum, which is funny. Okay, oh, the platform. This map is, uh, this stage is actually a bit random in the way that the platforms move. Lewis was able to defuse that situation, just, uh, get back to the bottom after the platform rose from under him, and that was good. Uh, so the neutral game for Marth is supposed to be down tilt and forward air in this matchup, but occasionally Marth still... For, uh, Uh. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Brian is like one of the more aggressive Marts that I play against, and oh, sorry, that, that's an interesting comparison. Then I don't see him defending much when he's playing against me. I usually just let him come to me, and that's why I can beat him with characters like Peach. But like, that's uh, that's. That's beyond the point, and he's gotten a lot better recently, so it's hard to really say where how good Brian is these days. All we, we do know is that Lewis is like one of the best in the, like, he's probably the best in Western Connecticut, outside of like uh, the Trumbull crew. Oh, you, do you? Let's see, I place him. Let's see it. Right. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, I just. Ah. Uh. In New England, there's a stigma against ice climbers. Like, uh, there's a stigma against ice climbers in New England. Like, alright. Alright. Like, this, it, they say that, uh, you can, you don't really have to work on your punish game as a player if you play ice climbers because you can quickly get up to the. Mm. <laughs> I think so, for sure. But if you do. Yeah. Lewis is adding, is, deep, is deepening his punishes so that he can do more than just. Mm. 
All right. So, so that a major reason that uh, this map is not very uh, often struck to in this matchup is because, <laughs> and it's evened up, because ice climbers cannot so easily get to the top platform. They they need to uh, they need to double jump to get up there. It takes more time. Um, not the case on Fountain of Dreams. Not the case on Yoshi's. Yoshi's is of course a good stage for Mars. Fountain of Dreams is questionably so. Platform stalemates are a thing in this game. Ice Climbers, of course, want to be on the ground as much as they can. Um, and Marth does not want to be coming down on them, so to speak. But he has no real inclination to it if he's got a lead. Oh, that's that's a game changer. Like, he was like, uh, he had like a, so a, a small lead. Yeah, he was, he was. Uh, he would have to go in eventually because as long as he's up there he can get chip damage from ice climbers but like uh i don't know he was he, he the pressure was on lewis to try and uh, make something happen i feel like this is not a game where you can conform to a defensive position it just you think your mic's off? Yeah. Oh, well, try it now. Have I been muted this whole time? Oh, I can, I can hear you now. Have I been muted this whole time? Yeah, I... Did you guys just like freaking assume that red on the um, microphone button? Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. I think maybe Lewis might have done it, but that's not important because Lewis Who is... thought that red meant sound? <laughs> Lu Lewis just owned Who two thought people. that red meant go? <laughs> Lewis just owned two people on stream at the same time. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's the set though. <laughs> that's, that's the set, yeah. Great commentary oh, by me. Right. <laughs> you probably got like a little bit of me through your pop filter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, GG's. Test All right, I'm gonna go play myself. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if mine's on because I have not been able to hear myself the whole time. Are you watching? Two off. Testing. Yep, it still works. There's two microphones. That makes sense. I just can't hear myself. I can only hear like co-commentators. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys pick up the whole room more than you're picking me up. Either way, I'm going to probably turn this microphone off for the time being in case there's an echo. Microphone is now off. Microphone is now on. I guess who's here? People really not know. It's like the most simple thing. Like, it literally is a mute symbol on the bottom. All you have to do is that, and it's off. Yeah, that's what it looked like, dude. That's off. Yeah. yeah. I, that, you, don't look at me, dude. I was looking, I was like up right here. I'm not blaming you, Ty. I, yeah, it was Sean, it was maybe Lewis. I'm not sure who was messing with it. Alright. So as a recap, this term is completely fraudulent because I was not able to enter. I feel like I've gotten better. And I won't be able to prove it until next bi-weekly. That's alright, no big deal. No worries. You were late for this one, so you didn't enter? Yeah, I was late. I, I couldn't enter. I uh, I didn't realize that there was a sign-in, like an early sign-in. Yeah, I got you. I probably could have made it through the It would have been fun. Probably at least get top four, top six. Maybe. Get great expectations. You had a good bracket. You could have won. Yeah. You've won before, right? Yeah, I've won, I've won yeah. these turns before, but mostly because uh, the, the stars were kind of out. No, that was the one that Lewis lost early. Uh... Yeah. I feel like I played Lewis in that one, didn't I? No, you like literally had a free ride because no, no. everyone just beat. Yeah, I feel like the the best player there was like Nick and someone Lewis. else. Lewis was there. That was that was when Christian beat Lewis and like he got fifth. Christian beat Lewis? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I I don't remember I didn't yeah, actually yeah, see yeah, the yeah. Either way I don't I'm not really proud of that. Two wins is impressive. One win is not impressive. It's all good. Yeah, in my opinion. A win is a win, tech away. Yeah, yeah you have to. Yeah, so this is an interesting matchup. I actually think that Falco does so good against 
ice climbers, it's just so hard. It's really, really difficult. Because, like, if you look at, like, his moves, they, there's no moves that's, like, a constant hitbox or, like, a multi-hit hitbox, like a drill or anything like that. And, like, everything has, like, such high... Not crouch pants ability, but, like, it has such long hit stun and therefore has, like, a really long... Like that. Like, like it's so punishable. But Lewis didn't really react to that very well. He wave dash back. I think he figured... Lewis, or uh, Christian would do something right? I should probably start using the uh, player names. Yeah. But, wave dash forward. F smash has been a pretty good option in the history of Westcon Melee. <laughs> oh, yeah, like right there. If he wasn't invisible, deuces. Doesn't shoot, doesn't shoot the high laser, rather, I should say. I like the up tilt. Yeah. Like, um, I feel like... I feel Check like in if, there. Yep. If, you, if you can desynchronize them with any character, you can do it. And you don't necessarily. And if you can just, if it comes down to just getting random hits on Nana yep. while uh, Popo's, like while absorbing hits up from Popo, then it'll mean that your next clean hit. Yeah, that's good. Is going to be a lot more effective. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I agree. Mm -hmm. But what's going on here? It's an old-fashioned <laughs> fucking everyone hitting each other once, and then something else happens, and then everyone hits each other once, and then they reach that, <laughs> and then someone slides off, and they get to hit. Yeah. yeah, that's good. It's a good awareness from Christian. I like. I really like it when people do like really late aerial into really early aerial. It's really good. Shield I'll grab. Oh, shine grab <laughs> is the mix-up though right now. Shine grab is so good against. He tried. Yeah, I think he actually went for it. I like how Lewis just pretty much doing nothing. He's just trying to just um, yep. sitting waiting for a little. Yup, he just gotta wait. But that early kill Lewis got on Christian is really paying dividends. As they would say. Messes up a shine there. I think he just went for try to shine them because surprisingly coming from below ice climbers when they're on a platform is, is actually really good. Mm. They're not a very good character to contest below them. Yeah, for sure. He's dead, for sure. There aren't a lot of characters that are able to like really contest below them, of course. Yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like uh like Peach is one of them. I feel like Fox can do it. But like oh that was funny. He's dead. Oh, oh good mash, good mash. Good mash, yeah. I think he was just mashing up smash and that's where he got it and then he just continued mash. Yeah, good con cognizance. Like that's the transition, right? <laughs> it's a transition into the yep. mash. Because you're mashing one thing and then you're mashing out. Yep. Like hand positions are a big thing. Yeah, There's a lot of he's dead though. There's a lot of smash attacks that are going on right now. I'm not a big fan of them. Smash mm. attacks on Ice Climbers, they're good if they hit, but if they don't hit you have to remember how long your lag is going to be at the end of it, mm. right? Like, there's two shields you're hitting. Like, right here, I would like to see a smash attack, like, when he's safe, like, when he's invincible. That's not bad. Mm. Yeah, and you never want to, or yeah, tech in, you never want to tech in. But mm. this is important. He needs to, like, actually get this stock pretty easy. Oh, oh, just right in But, his... getting outplayed by Sopo here. Yeah, that's yeah. the up. It's easy to keep track of these guaranteed uh, combos when there's only one of you. You don't just get confused by the yep. potential that Nana gives you. And Lewis is just waiting here. This is like such a good spot for him. He got like 90% off a combo, something like that. A, a lot of uh, Popo stuff turns into more stuff. Uh, mm, this I like is... the down tilt, but... He gets kind of aggressive when he's only got one of them. It's yeah. interesting. I think it's good. Uh, it probably what, is. What are you what are you gonna do? Just wait? Wait for your death? Uh, nice. He's dead. Don't shoot lasers. Mm. Don't shoot lasers. Not the reason he died, but don't <laughs> shoot lasers, everybody. This thing is not safe. That's okay. This is not a really great stage for Falco, I don't think. Please stay Falco, please stay Falco. God fucking damn, please stay Falco. Stay Falco, you bigot! Don't switch! Play You're beat. literally killing yourself! Yes, just go to that stage, there you go. Right, right name, wrong selection. He was going for the Yoshi selection of character when I meant the stage. He's fine. Yeah, he's gonna slide off because he was on his back. He's dead though. <laughs> So what James just did is not necessarily coaching, it's more like he's beating the crowd. No, it's the no coaching at all. Yeah. I'm uh, just telling you, don't be an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when, I coach them, when I coach somebody, the first thing I tell them is not to be an idiot. Yep.
I wonder how good the audio is going to be. Uh, hopefully it's not dog shit. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, both of them? Let's go. Let's go. Duble. I, you only needed one, but whatever. Eric Master... <laughs> Eric's furiously rubbing his ear in the in the camera. Double laser. <laughs> yep. He gets past it, so it's all good. <laughs> this is dangerous right now. He's got his back to him. I don't like back airing ice climbers. <laughs> no, it's not, I don't it's not that great. But like as Falco, what else are you gonna do? Got him. I actually I, read that. I kind of respect like cross ups. Oh, uh, Randall F smash enabler. Nice. And dead. Oh, that doesn't do nothing. anything out of that. He had so much time to act, but he didn't do anything. See Tried that? To shield drop back that was here. almost an edge cancel, and he did a back air out of that. Maybe. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't think that Christian wanted to do nothing. He just got uh, nothing. Yeah, just wait. It's so obvious. Like all, all Lewis ever does there is, is just down smash. You can just wait. What I usually do is I just face him and wait, and then just up smash him out of shield. All right. So right here, you go for. I would have liked to see a up air or a back air, but instead he just let him land and try to tech chase. But I don't know why he did that. All right. So another situation. I don't like that. It's so risky. Are you dead. That is fine. Uh, back here. He's okay. You get away from him. Yep. So. I kind of like these down tilts now. I don't like them now. That's for damn sure. Lewis is getting more aggressive than he's yeah. going forward. I think. Might as well. Yeah. I mean, it's just small standing there never really works, us. right? Yeah. You have to make plays as ice climbers, whether people yeah. believe it or not. I think he's dead, yep. That was... Oh, he matched, he matched. That yeah, was it's not a true combo at that percent, that's for sure. See, up air into there, that's a frame trap. There's so many F smashes here, he's just gonna get caught, for sure. Oh! I feel like... I feel like Christian can't play himself. This is a 3 out of 5, huh? 3 out of 5? It must be, like... I'd like to see him go back and stop doing dumb stuff. <sighs> yeah, he lost his composure there towards like the second stock. He just kind of relied on some uh, some like gimmicks, some movement gimmicks, some callouts that just didn't happen. You don't actually have to read ice climbers. I don't think a lot of people know that. I feel like Lewis is kind of uh, susceptible to gimmicks. Yeah, like, for sure. Not like, only is he not only is he like that, but I like the double laser actually. Yeah. I actually really like the double laser. I, I feel like, like that he, one. he eats spaces for breakfast, so that's something. But I don't know about that. He eats everyone else. His win rate is very positive against most people in this room. Alright. I haven't seen him against certain characters, so I can't... The last time the... I played him was uh, the last tournament I won. Oh, nice. But it was also the last tournament I entered. Oh, there you have it. You didn't enter today? No, I didn't enter today. Alright. You think I went 0-2? Uh... Go straight up. Yep. No laser. That's not safe. I would like to see him just double jump to the platform, but instead he's going for, like, testing? Hmm. Kind of predictable what Lewis yeah. is going to do. It absolutely is. That's how I always beat him. Is I think a lot of things he does, you just have to wait for. Yeah, but it worked the first time, and he hasn't. And Lewis, that's right. Christian has not proven that he has. He knows. Right. I don't think he knows what they are. Uh, that'll do it then. See, like what is Ooh, that? Ooh, just a wobble. Yeah, I, for sure. And then had plenty of time to get. Yeah, for sure. That's why F smash. He's not good. Like, there's like that one F smash right where it hits someone's shield and it's safe. It's still not good against ice climbers because they can wave dash out any distance like in the game. All right. Just run up and grab him as Lewis, well. Lewis uh, respected the shield. Uh, I would like to see a forward throw. Kept them separated. Bomb I forward. like that though. Okay, so now we can shield pressure this pseudo shorty to his heart's content. <laughs> he gets aggressive with the weird moves he wasn't using before. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. That was so weird. He did like down air, down smash. Uh, okay. Got him. That's out of that's But out of it. you got two stocks for that. Comes down with the squall hammer, classic, make sure that you guys are both synchronized. Would you go Falco against uh Ice Embers? Do you think it's not, like well I mean I play Fox, so it's like different, but yeah, yeah. I was a Falco main and like Christian is where he pretty much only really plays Falco and Sheik. Falco is definitely the right option. I haven't seen uh, his Sheik in a long time, but I Exactly. I have a lot of respect for it. Yeah, Sheik's not bad, it's just uh 
Like, that's a, that's actually like a bad matchup. I don't think Ice Climbers Falco is a bad matchup. I think Ice Climbers Sheik is a bad matchup. I think like Ice Climbers wins that. Probably like 6 4. You know my uh, philosophy on that, right? Just teach. If, you, if you're losing to Ice Climbers, if you're playing a character. If you're playing against Ice Climbers. And um, rather, if someone picks Ice Climbers against you. And they're saying, your Peach is so bad, you can't even win that matchup against me. And so people want to challenge themselves and play characters where the matchup is harder. I can sort of appreciate that. But yeah. If, but if you're playing but to no. win, it's another story. But like, come on. Ooh. That was so bad. Like, I can't even put into words how stupid that was. All right. He's resetting his invincibility against Soko at 143. I, Just think about that. I feel like... I feel like... Uh, Christian's not playing lame enough. Like he can totally just uh, go for frame traps against uh, ice climbers. The shield's not that good. I think what he's doing yeah, there is go. very good against characters that are not ice climbers. Mm. Like you can just hit ice climbers. Like honestly, like you can I, just hit them. Yeah, that's see, that's the kind of thing I wanted to go more for the entire game. Like, I feel like he could just be more like not aggressive, but just kind of. Just hit him. Like, literally, yeah. he's not doing any moves. Like, he's just doing, like, down air, like, on stage. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if Lewis takes a stock. Okay, <laughs> good. Alright, there we go. But, we got a hill. Let's let's call it a... A hill. Let's call it a hill. Yeah. Ain't no mountain. Definitely not something. Dead. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, up. frame data. There's also some some bullshit in there. <laughs> Giant clank with that smash. All right. <laughs> Just uh, hit hit freeze into hit freeze right there with the dare on both timers. Okay, that's good. Lewis didn't grab. Uh, Lewis is just going for random hits at this point. He wants to get to comfortable situations and not. Uh... That. Deuces. It's fine. It's fine. Just keep it cool. Like, Lewis is literally only down smashing right now. And he's dead. So unfortunate. Deuces. Like, the air pressure, I don't know if that's, if that's what you want to go for against, against uh, Ice Numbers. Just grab it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you can do one nair and then use that shield stuff to go for a jab or a grab. Just run like, up and throw him in the air and then yeah. follow him as they go down. It's, I mean, I guess it's Falco, right? It's a little different because the laser is interrupted, so you just forward throw them off stage or you throw forward throw them forward and see what they do. They does, have no good wake up option. Does Falco have uh, guaranteed follow ups on up throw? With uh, like uh, at certain percent, you, if you if you read the direction that he goes in, mm -hmm. right? So like, if if you know he's gonna go forward and he goes forward, like that was like and, a million yes, percent. Yes, he does. Right? He can get up there and it that, can kill at like ninety, but 90. not. Higher, not very high, All right. and probably not very low. Either. I feel like, I feel like that's where um, he was struggling. Yeah. Like in the when they were both not quite a kill percent, but like some damage had gone off. Definitely. He wasn't really getting good follow-ups. Definitely, 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 definitely. So now we're we have Spacey Zero, right? Sean uh, Fox. Spacey Zero. Yeah. Will. I call Will Fox. <laughs> he plays other characters, of course. He plays. Uh, he's got a Sheik. He's got an OK Falco. He's gonna play Falco Fox, right? Yeah. Well, the onus is on Will right yeah. now. Like, I know Will plays a little chic, but he's definitely been a Fox, Fox main rather for like his entire yeah. life, as long he's... as I've known him. Uh... Yeah, but when I met him, he was a Fox player. So. Yeah. Well, the thing about Falco Fox is um. That was fast. Yeah, that was fast. It was bad DI. I think he caught a jump, and uh, that's yes. a bad combination in any percent. Yes. So this is probably the most researched matchup in the game. This is a matchup that people know a lot about. I love that. I, I, I was going to say, is he going to use the get-up attack? Okay, so if Sean's... This is Falco. I will use their name of the character as opposed to this. One thing that this Falco is very good at, it's knowing when his shine is not stale when they is attacking ground and opponent. So obviously a little bit of matchup slash tech knowledge. If you shine a person as Falco and they're on the ground, if your shine is stale, right. it will not send them in the hit stun. They will just be like flying up and they can jump, they can act out of it. That happens at roughly the third shine. Mm. If there's one person who I've ever met who just knows when his shine is not stale, it's Falco. 
this one that you're looking at. This green top. He's very, very good at it. Shine. Very often, at, like he'll get like a shine at a knockdown person. He'll get like a down air at like 60, and then you're just holding down, right? Because like who cares what he does? You can just crouch cancel, and then he shines you, and you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna jump out, and then you're like, wait, no, I'm in hit stun. What the hell? And it's very, very good. So, oh, he can be dead here. This, yep. This that is target practice. But Falco, Falco slightly one heavier. of the few characters that doesn't die there. Yeah, Heavy has a fast falling speed. Yes, it's stuff. actually a decent combination against upwards killing characters. That was not good. Okay, that's not quite a follow up. Yeah, I would have liked to see him just wait yeah. and like shield. Mm, I yeah, like maybe. that he waited there. He's dead though. Oh mm, no, he nair. Yeah, that was that's a such a weird nair. Mid short in there. Scenario. Oh, Important mid short. That was cool. He could have gotten a shine or something. He could have done anything. I think he could have yeah. edge canceled it in the back air or something yeah. like that as well. That's what I would have probably been aiming for there. Mm -hmm. This is okay. That's yeah. Got him. Yeah, yeah, there's a dash dance. Uh, this Falco is a jab fiend. He really likes jabs, and for better or worse, they're not very good. Yeah. And uh, sometimes bad jabs are okay, but that is not okay. Uh, the one that he just did, and this combo is actually sick. He's dead. That was clean. <laughs> oh, clean. Okay. Yeah, that's the grime. The grime. <laughs> this is how you have to play this matchup. Falco right. destroys you if you just. Play honestly. You have to take these percent kills. You have to take these edge hogs. Will has a we really did. good. Will just did like nine multi shines, like, like for no reason. Will's ending combos exact, ending combos as soon as he possibly can. Oh, that was very very interesting decision. He tried yeah. to get like some crazy angle where he goes straight to the ledge and maybe can sweet spot it, but yeah. not on battlefield and not when you're there. Oh, is that it? I got it. Will just explained himself. So he was trying to DI it, but he started the DI early, uh -huh. is the reason he said. And he was still in the ability to angle his nice shine out shield there. All right. It was like, yeah, like, there's something my Fox cannot do, and probably won't be able to do for a long time. It's just, you can get out of Falco combo by just crouch cancel shine. I just don't, never know when it's appropriate. It's hard, dude. Because, like, sometimes it'll just, you get fucked up for it. Because you're in place and he's gonna grab you, get a follow up. Yep. I, I can't figure it out. I, it's gonna take some grind. But, you know, Botega has been there. He's, he's, uh, he's gone through not knowing what to do stuff. So. Yep. Got the tech in. Uh, goes for the mid or for uh, the short in there. Doesn't get the ledge, but Fox wasn't expecting a short in general. That's cool. I thought that shine was gonna lead to something, but like it was just kind of there. Yeah. See, the, here's the issue: these back airs, not exactly hard to deal with, but once he mixes in the laser, it's very hard to deal with because. Oh, that was actually really good movement, but he was a little late on his grab. Perhaps it wasn't a safe grab either. Go straight. Mm, that's great. Now, you never want to go straight. I'll explain why you don't want to go straight. Because you can like go straight there, and Falco can just short out back air or full hop back air, whatever he did. That was an interesting decision. I'm sure these are supposed to be back airs, and he's just messing up. You see it. He's dead. Oh. That, was, that just seems so unnecessary. UCF sounds like a wrestling federation. Yeah. Or something. Like something you watch on... Hey man, don't call me the West Conner. I'm not a West Conite. I don't go here. I just show up for... Actually, I don't have a reason why I show up. Because I don't even enter. <laughs> Westcon man. Westcon man. Doing whatever a Westcon man can. You know what I'm saying? Alright, well, this is kind of just reset to neutral. They're getting straight hits, but they're not really confirming. But I would have liked to see reverse down here. I think that could have killed. If, uh, okay. Nice angle. Cool. You have to go for it there. Yeah. He's been going high the entire set. Or yeah. game. Whatever. I mean, I feel like now Sean's got to cover low. Oh, can we talk about something real quick? Sure. Why are we on this stage in 3 to 5? Um. He lost the first game on the stage, went back. Oh, well, maybe he just he really feel, felt yeah, I mean, on like, the stage. So comfort picks or something that I've never understood. I mean, I never, I never uh, like. He's dead. He's no, he's 100 percent dead. He's, uh, no, he's 100 percent dead. He's fine. He's oh, no, he's not. Dead. I was trying to tell you. Right. Falcons do that. That's free. All right, you just well. wait, invincible, for them to come near you. I, mean, I don't know. I I felt like he could have maybe gotten out back from there. So, if you look at the scenic other stages, we've got. FD, where Fox probably wins. Uh, we got Yoshi's, where I actually think Fox wins, and we got FOD where Fox. And we have a, what third game on Battlefield? 
Third game on Battlefield. Yeah. You know, in in New York at Nevs, they'll just go back to Battlefield. Yeah, that's 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 a New York thing though. This is not yeah. New York. It's very New close York. to New York, but. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I maybe that concept is just is just. Uh, it's it, it's, it's bigger community. than New York. Yeah. It's bigger than New York. It's like it's like a culture flip when you're when you're like suddenly everyone across the border. I hear you. I hear It's like you. identifying as tri-state. Yes. <laughs> Which Connecticut players wish they could. <laughs> There's one thing we wish we could is we wish we were not part of this New England shit squad. <laughs> Instead, because for whatever reason, in the context of melee and just about melee, Trap State is not consistent. Uh, it consists of Pennsylvania. I blame Slocks and uh, Smuckers. Yeah, I don't don't know why the hell they're not Tri State. You ever see Tri State Ford dealer commercials? They're talking about Connecticut. They're not talking about Pennsylvania. You go to Wikipedia, look up Tri State, Connecticut. Well, you get know, back out of shield dash. I think it's pretty much known by now that it's four states now, right? It's four states. Four states are tri state. It's Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and Western Connecticut. Yeah. Either way, like we are in, we are in the sphere of influence of both New York and Boston. Yeah. So Connecticut yep, can yep. be both. It can we be definitely, New we definitely are mixed because it doesn't feel like New England. Yeah. It's uh, what's it called? The fringe. Yep. Fringefield County, Connecticut. So, um, confidence is a quick killer. Wow. Do you feel like Will keeps striking, moving back to Battlefield, right? What? Will's the one who keeps coming back to Battlefield. Like, do, do you, yes. Yeah. Do, do you feel like he's like adapting? I, this is definitely closer to that than the last no. ones, but like, no, I've never seen anyone in Westcon adapt in my life. All right. Well, fair enough. No, I've never seen it. At least at what they need to be adapting to. Alright. Like, I've I, seen people adapt to what they shouldn't be doing, but never what they need to do. Do you think Sean's just Excellent experimenting, thing. or do you think that... Sean? Will, well, I, I feel like... Well, up until now, because like now Sean's getting off. Oh, Sean, Sean's winning. What is he? If he's experimenting, like, we, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like if it's a closer set, then either one player is doing better, or the other player is just getting complacent and doing more experimental shit. Mm. I don't know. That's just the way I think maybe, about it. Maybe. I mean, if he is experimenting, he's experimenting right. in territory he like, feels pretty this, comfortable in. This is close to end game, and they get still very doable for Fox. Like, that wasn't the case for the last first two games, I don't think. Because it was pretty clear that Fox was... The first game was close. You know. The second game was not. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I guess The first game the was like game. Last Day, Last Dog. But this is over. SD. Ooh. SD right. Dare. Something that okay, some people just don't do. I, I believe what they say about 69. Uh. Just SD Nair. Or SD Dare, excuse me. Just, just go down there. Fox is dead. Got him. Uh, yeah, nope. not. Oh, that's it. I read that roll. It happens. Oh boy. Well, interesting matchup coming up. Winner of finals wait for us a Sean Nuremberg, otherwise known as Cardinal. The Cardi Lombardi. Lewis Toucan, Ice Climbers player. Multi can melee. Yep. Although I would like to believe that. This will not be Falco Ice Climbers. I believe I talked to Sean. He said he was playing Lewis earlier. That he was fairly comfortable with Fox. He's doing fine in friendlies. Hand warmer because he's playing a different character. I respect that. This is the rivalry from last semester, you know? It, like, because you you did not enter too many tournaments. I didn't enter any tournaments. So I'm and, not part of this. Yeah, and Nick didn't do... Nick kind of under, underperformed the entire time. So it just pretty much came down to these two. Yep. Like, like trading games. It was basically... Yep. If, yep, Sean sure. didn't, if Sean didn't, like, bust out against uh, Lewis... And if Lewis didn't fight a, a, too many peaches in bracket, because yes. he, he can go through one peach, he can go through two peaches. It's hard, dude. He, that's not a good matchup. Like, there's a lot of ice climbers that beat Peach, right? Mm -hmm. Like nowadays, like we see like True Dad have finding some success in the matchup. Yeah, but like, come on, it's not like he's not having a hard time doing it. Mm -hmm. That's a hard matchup. That is a bad matchup. That is a that is a matchup that you don't really see in this game. Mm -hmm. Right, like there's not that many matchups in this game that are undoable. Right, you take a matchup like what, like Marth Peach. Like Marth wins that matchup, right? Marth wins it, yeah. Like 70 30 is a traditional thing, but these it's, days they say it's closer to 60 40. If, if that matchup is 7 30, like Peach can do it. Yeah. Right? It just means that in a best of. In a best of. Best of 10. Yeah. Uh, seven wins would go to the Marth player. So Personally, that, I think that matchup is 6 4, but I don't think it's. I think it's like. Peach can do it. Like, I feel it's like hard, but Armada consistently beat a lot of top Marth, including Nita King, for a very long time. 
but I feel like that's primarily a factor of a lot of matchups. Yes, up. yes. A lot of a matchups lot of in this game, game are actually stagnated. They like there's not been very much progress in many matchups. Mm -hmm. There is one matchup that has actually had progress in. It's Ice Climbers versus X. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that, that character is getting getting developed. A lot of people are learning exactly how to play this matchup. So what's, I, what's the twenty XX for uh, Ice Climbers? It's terrible. No, I, I mean like, what's the phrase that the people use? Like twenty Sopo, twenty. Well, oh. I don't know. Um. Wait, this was this was actual. This is this tournament. Okay, yeah. So the hand warmer's over. Gets caught <laughs> in a situation where he attacked their shield and dies. I'll put loose the camera real quick. There we go. There you go. This thing a bit best. further apart. Yeah. Do your best. I if I can get one of their eyes in. There we go. So ooh! Okay. Well, so I'm playing Fox, not playing Falco. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, Fox is statistically favored in this matchup. Yeah, no, Fox wins. Fox wins for sure. Fox wins against everybody, but like, um if you play Falco and you if you think your Falco is better than your Fox. Yeah, I mean, he thinks his Falco is better than his Fox. I'm talking about it, but uh, okay. not not for this matchup. Just because this matchup is actually hard. Yeah. For Falco, not hard as in like, well, like actually hard to play. Is what ah, I mean. ah, yes. It's definitely definitely a real finger. It's hard to play. Like, there's not that many matchups that are actually hard to play, but definitely definitely this one. You see, Nana just like perfectly <laughs> air dodge. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> she like frame one air dodged away from his back air. I, I mostly just try and pay attention to what uh, the Popo is doing. And like if if Nana does something, I just kind of chalk it up to random chance. It's like in Guilty Gear when you're looking at what the other thing is doing, but that's completely RNG in this game, so it's less interesting. It's more yes. interesting just look at what inputs. Uh... Yeah, Nana is definitely one of the few RNG. Oh, he jumped right off the bat. People, uh, I, that's happened to me before. It's so funny. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that because let me explain why. Mm -hmm. Classic, classic mistake here. Light shielding on platform is actually a pretty decent tool to uh, deal with a neutral. Uh, that was a yeah, that was. That was a baller. You might be dead. Get oh, right there where he needs to be. He's dead. Oh no, he's oh. not. The fimbles. This is okay. So anyway, I want to go back to that situation because I can explain it very well. There's not that many characters that have an option as powerful as Ice Climber's Grab, right? Like that's just yeah. the nature of this game. This, this is not that's like the most powerful option in the game. Yeah. Ice Climber's grabbing you. So the priority system gets all messed up when you're in shield. Right? If you see yeah. someone in shield on a platform, right, and doing yeah. that, most people's first reaction is, I wanna hit them. Because most people are seeking hits in yeah. the traditional game. Indeed. If this has nothing to do with the fact that they're invincible, this has nothing to do with the fact that they're in shield. It's just most people's instincts are to get a hit. I suppose those instincts are not to get a hit, they're to get a grab. So, excellent movement there to get out of the jab, doesn't get locked down. Luce is playing map independently right now. He's just going for like up smash and forward smash, edge guards, whether it's a platform up there. I would like to tell you that he's been doing this for a long time, but I feel like it'll fall upon deaf ears. <laughs> Dead. Well, let's see what happens here. So like, this is the thing I don't like. Ooh. Okay. Is he, he, he dead? He, I thought he was gonna miss a way. He lost track of it. Was that SDI? Was that was that the reason that he wasn't going into the ground? Just keep range? doing getup attack. Honestly, that was actually not bad. Ooh, Why? Not quite. Well, maybe he's he not dead. Right. Look. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Yeah. See, good stuff. And that's how you punish it. That's... I don't understand why people don't just grab ice climbers. Like it's so good. Just throw them. They have terrible options in the air. That that that's what Lewis was uh Lewis was known for last semester. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. He had a really good out of shield game, better than anyone else at Westcon. And now I feel like, you know, definitely Sean. Maybe Sean was doing it before, but I mostly noticed it with Lewis because yes. that's how he kept beating me. With Ike well, Rangers the current team. players in this tournament, I would agree that Sean definitely has the best out of shield game for sure. Oh, well, there you have it. For sure. All right. I haven't played Sean in a long time. And when I did, it, oh, important ground tech there. That was a dash attack. That could have been it. This, this is, this is game one, guys. It started with a wobble, and we're here. So this now. is really good, actually. Like, considering that it started with like a 0% wobble. Yeah. Uh, honestly, gonna go worse. Power shields it. It was important. The second hit was coming. So Lewis has to keep it cool. Lewis has to maintain this lead. And that's... That's... This is so big. Yeah. Because I've seen Sean lose these. Yeah, th there's like... We need two... Down okay. Okay. Set up play? No, no set play. I would like to see him just run up grab. Uh, yep. Yes. He always goes for that eventually, and the up and the up tilt, which covers a lot of uh, frames. If you're if you're uh, spot dodging, then yep. you gotta be aware of the up tilt. Sure. What are you 
it got in place, mm -hmm. or like it was uh, also uh, it was also behind. I feel like I, like I want to say this not just a matchup. I feel like Sean has really is really calling out everything better yes. than the other players. Yes, yes, I actually course. I agree with that. I think Sean is very good in scrambles. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if it's the nature of Falco. Ooh. Nice game, nice game. That's good. game one. That was pretty difficult. Game one, impressive comeback. Starting with the wobble is one of the most one of the most difficult things to come back from. Yeah. Because of momentum. Like you're sitting there for 30 seconds knowing that you're about to be down a stock, as mm -hmm. opposed to like Fox where like you just lose stock, right? Yeah. Very hard. Momentum's important. So this is So here's the counter the ca this is the classic Lewis. Just yeah. just kinda pick the stage. Yeah, just fuck platforms. Does anyone else? It's is not it just like me? it's that, not like Lewis was really that good excellent wobble. <laughs> Is yeah, he got the jab reset. Yeah. He can do more up throw into wobble. Okay. So, into, you know, tech chases. Yes. Lewis is good at tech chasing. Let me explain to you how to play this matchup on this stage. Yeah, all right. Let's hear it. You dash stands by the ledge as Fox. And you wait for them to come at you, and then you react to whatever they do because it's always telegraphed. Uh-huh. 100%. The hardest thing to deal with is dash attack. Hardest thing to deal with. <laughs> as we plug in a uh, USB device, let's call it. <laughs> And we have another wobble. All right. I mean, okay, Sean's got counter pick advantage. He won the game one, so two game. Two. He messed up. Yeah. Oh no! Wow, he's so killed. It's not like it's over though. Like, no, it's not over because of this button right there. He's dead. Mm. I would just LRA start. You can't di in uh, di, di out moves. Here's why. Dash deck. You can't. You have to DI stuff out in at low percent, so that way they just either have to raw grab or do something else. It's like a weird... I like that, though. Just got the kill. Yay. He could be dead. Yep. Yes. That's a low... Well, That's NTSC right there. This will be interesting. Uh, ooh, okay. Yeah. That's game. I'm willing to say it. <laughs> okay. Well, Take away. Yeah, you have to. I, I feel like he's taking too many random hits, but like there's not much you can do in this situation. But the less trade. Down back, yeah, I was gonna say. Whenever Lewis walks away, it's a guaranteed down smash coming out. Like it happens every time. It's really funny. Yeah. He's behind him, so he's fine. Lewis is playing aggressively. That's how I would say it. He's going yeah. in and he's uh Dead? trying to disrespect the the fact yep. that Sean is not doing much shielding. Nope. I think shielding is really good against Ice Climbers, but like, not always. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> if you feel like it's gonna happen, you can just get a grab. Like, uh, hey, that. Just, just die. Just die. Just die. It's fine. No, I made it work for it. Okay. Made it work for it off uh, an otherwise perfect start. Like, two All wobbles right. in like 10 seconds. Yeah. Alright. So one one. What Yoshi? Are we, what's going Question mark? You think? I like Pokemon here. Like Pokemon? Yeah, I think I like Pokemon. Mm, Fox? Yeah, I think so. I like yeah. Pokemon. I'll here. smash up. Yoshi's there. is really, really risky because like down smash just kills you, mm -hmm. like fifty. Yeah, yeah. The Sage, you can probably get back. That's Ice Climb versus a Slash. Don't, doesn't know but... how to get out of it. Doesn't know how to get out of it. Very stupid. Of uh, Ice Climbers <laughs> to even do it at this point, <laughs> after all of the conversations that have been had about this move. Bar, it's a guaranteed setup. They don't do anything. I like the little mix up there. Roll away, or get up in place, whatever. That's fine. It's just Winter Tiles, too. There's so much tournament left. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nana grab. Funny how yeah. Nana got the grab. You got to up smash there. Okay. Well, that's okay. All right. Well, I don't know about okay, but you know. Okay. So many F smashes. Like I don't understand like where people got the information. Mm. As a goddamn it comes out from the ice punch player, you know, he is winning by a lot. <laughs> well, I, I, that's probably it. You know, they never get complacent. No, never. Complacent is different than what just happened, though. Oh, at least they so. But if you're all constantly on your guard and constantly saying, well, I'm not doing well enough, I need to do better. That's fair, but he's doing fine. All right, say so. 
We'll, we'll see if it takes a turn. If you play a character that's not Fox, and you are playing against Fox, and something happens that is just like uncalled for, or inconsistent, or you don't really know what happened, there's no other way of saying it than just deal with it. Perfect. Right. Perfect option. Really? We're back in the game. That's amazing, actually. Yeah, that's the best, best option there. Yeah. Up air from the ledge when it's invincible is like, actually I'm, godlike. Like, I'm getting, Why would you roll in? That's so dangerous. I'm getting flashbacks of the beginning of the game when it was 4 to 2. And it was just so even. And it can easily get more lopsided in the other direction. You got red there, okay. but... Yeah, that, that, was a bait. that was a bait with a, with a drill into nothing. Drill into nothing is actually pretty good. You just like drill like that? Yeah, yeah. If, as long as you are on point with whatever you do after that. These back airs <laughs> are really telegraphed. I'd like to see him get around it. Blizzard walls up. It's really hard to do anything against Blizzard wall. Up throw. Yep, just do it. Go for Popo here. Now you go for mana. Nice. Oh, that, that was interesting doing the up air. <laughs> never, but never down smash against Ice Climbers. Where did he find that information out? Gets it. Important point of notice is that if he gets any percent here, he's in a good spot. Especially on Popo. I actually don't think percent on Nana matters that much, like, in the grand scheme of things. No, no. Because, yeah. like, you can just kill Nana, right? Like, she's an AI yeah. at the end of the day, when she's uh, not being controlled. So, like, if you get percent on Popo, it's good. I mean, I think some characters really need to- oh, that was cool. Like, the tricky. I would like to see him go up. Mm. There was an air there, that's very scary. Like, I remember Christian's, uh, Falco. He, he did a lot of uh, damage, <laughs> deliberate damage on Nana yeah. instead of Popo because Nana was the easier target. And sometimes you, what your game plan needs is just something you can always fall back on. And Nana is what you fall back on. Uh, that's game three. Should have just waited. All right, so DSR, right? You can't go back to uh, can't go back to Battlefield. No, no. No, Song one on Dreamland. You can go back to. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. You can go uh, to any other stage right now. Yeah. I think I'll probably just go to Yoshi's or go back. It uh, seemed okay. It was just two wobbles at the beginning. That was back and forth, you know. That was like a okay. turnabout for. Uh, that was a good Pokemon Stadium. I'd like to see him go back. I feel like Pokemon Stadium is kind of turn prone to turnabouts. Wait a minute, was that frozen? I just realized I don't remember seeing any. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah went no, to no. Tree stage. We had some good stages. Yeah, good stages for ice climbers. Like. <laughs> Go back. We didn't actually have the uh, tree sage. If there was we... a tree or a mountain. The game would have went very different. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like Frozen Stadium is just like I don't like sta Frozen Stadium. Stadium with the good transformations. Like it's it's functionally the same way. You don't. Feel oh, like I like the down. Okay, 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 okay. Like, I love oh, drill. I love drill. I love 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 what Fox just did. Just just do drill over and over again. The shine's not guaranteed to connect because it smashed the eye. So just do it, look at it, it's so good. It beats grab, it beats down smash, it beats everything. It's so good. That's what I do. Just aerial aerial. That's a, that's an OG peach tech from back in the day. Is like you don't want to drill shine peach over and over again. Uh-huh, yeah. You just kind of just do other stuff. Like you just do aerial aerial. Uh, that makes sense. This is playing a little aggressive after that. Um was Cardinal around back in the day? Cardinal? No. Oh, I, he told me he started playing recently. Oh, well, okay. like this was 14, 2014 when I was recently. That's oh, a dead okay, Popo. Okay. Or dead nano, whatever. So he's probably been playing since like 2013, 2012. I like okay. the side B. Messed it up the L cancel, but Popo didn't do anything. Oof. Damn. You gotta DI that away. 69, I believe. Always DI that away. Oh, okay. <laughs> the mother of all callouts. Why not? Nice. Okay. Up a stock. Good stage. Yeah, you stay right there, buddy. Buddy old pal. This is the right play from Lewis, though. You just wait. You don't wait down there. You wait over there, yeah. This yeah. is like the wobble zone. If there's a zone to get wobbled on in this stage, it's right fucking there. Lewis well, is scheming something in his head. It's about to end. Yep. You don't want to be any farther left than where he is right now, because otherwise you get stuck. Yep, there you go. 613, 611. Oh. He's fine. Uh, he, yeah, I don't know. I lied. Yeah, that was a jab reset. If you're not going to hit the tech, like, you, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> Got to hit that tech. It's an important tech. <laughs> That's it.
Alright. What's the game? Yeah, he's this. okay right now. He's getting yeah. tech chased a little bit. Yeah. Nice. This gonna be a. This gonna be a. Game too, many, five too many like random hits. Like so many F smashes and dash attacks. It's like, just take it easy. Grab him. Dash attack and grab have a very similar hitbox or distance they cover. Mm -hmm. All right, one more is what I hear from the ice climb player. <laughs> dash attack raw. Just do it. Leads into wobble. And okay. Yeah, tech chase or uh, not tech chase. Yeah, you can have one playstyle for this game. He's fine. He's fine. And another playstyle next game. All yeah. rough all stuff right. from the ice climber player. I think he tried to do something. I mean, else. it's all right. We're on the other shitty transformation. If there's one thing Sean has on his side right now, it's the RNG. But you can actually, you should actually contest this. I wouldn't wait. Just stay where you are and do it now. I mean, you have invulnerability. You kind of got taken away from you. For the it's just stage. like you just put the tree behind you. If they wobble past 300, the game's over. Yeah, I feel like Ice Climber's aerial options not really, not really good for catching Fox on the way down. Like even if you're vulnerable, so you have to get to the ground and then jump up to an up air, try to combo out of it. Good wait. So I can sort of see if you're not going for a wobble, you don't need to be invulnerable. Yep. Fox can go up and down really quickly, so it's not that easy to uh, catch him even if you have a vulnerability. Oh man. Oh, oh, if that was a grab, that would be the sickest thing I've ever seen to the West Gun. Uh, but it's okay. Okay, so it's looking like a. Oh, that was oh! funny as hell! That, that was, was so funny! That was the most legit fucking net of death. Current leader, Fox Ice That was actually the funniest thing I've ever seen. I like this. I like I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love he it. called it. Really silly. And this is just whoever is an This idiot. is where dash attack is really good from Fox. Don't be an idiot! Got him? Got him. Uh, there we go. Game, Game five. Sanko. Sanko. Okay. I don't know how to speak that dialect. What's left? This, this is Spanish. Sanko. Sanko. <laughs> Say it. Cinco. 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 Yeah, Say it like a douchebag is all you have to do. Cinco. And. And. He out. Oh, never mind. I thought, I thought we were leaving. Alright. Take a run to the car, get a smoke break. Alright. Oh, thanks, bro. You need, uh... Okay, so I gotta plug I got something. it, I got it. Give it to me. Yeah, let me just get behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's probably gonna be found. Yeah. yeah okay. L little technical work going on. Like fountain. At the computer's desk. But, uh... Game... So this, this stage on. is interesting. You know this used to be the OG counter pick, right? Back in the day? I guess, uh, uh Fox. Everyone. I, I don't know. As ice climbers, like, people just pick this stage. Like, I feel, forgot about it. I feel like it's more of a counter pick than Pokemon Stadium is these days. Pokemon Stadium is more of a neutral. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, just the jank sometimes makes it swings it in either direction. This game, this match, it, it's the same thing on this stage, really. Like, this stage can nice. randomly mess somebody so up. So important. Gets around ice climber. Okay. Oh, wow, he just died at 80. Er no. Every time you do something from the bottom, you're like betting on the stage, the platform coming up, and not and not messing you up. Yep. So I play Peach. Never touch the I'd like to see him grab there. I think raw grab is actually really good against ice climbers. Mm -hmm. So there was no instant wobble this game. No. uh... Nope. But you did get like a kill at very low percent. Yeah. Nope. Doesn't work. Sean's getting better as time's going on. He's getting back in the swing of things. He hasn't played much. Uh, Skilled ice climbers recently, so he's getting. Doesn't work. Getting I, would, those. I would like to see forward throw and just get him off stage. Mm -hmm. Nice. He should be dead. Lewis no slouch yep. either. Yep, yep. Lewis is no slouch. No, this man yeah. wins tournaments. Like yeah. beats ranked players in CT. Yeah. I don't have a game. I don't have a set against Link. 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 I don't have a set against Link either. Link. No, it's a lie. I do have a set against Link player from back in the day. Oh, uh, nice. All the options you could have gone for. I think he tried to go on stage, but... I think this is weird. Why? And that's interesting. The air shine, not as much distance. And that's it. Ooh! Followed it. Was that reaction, do you think? Yeah, I think so. He's also alive. 
Pick. Get away. Definitely gonna jab, take away there. Double jab. Uh, this, nice. Yeah. Balls it up. All right. So yeah. very low percent kill or death, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Into yeah. a very clean stock overall. It depends on who you want to give credit for that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I like the weight there. I would have done the same exact thing. This uh, is good. That's, dead. So yeah. good. So good. I was gonna say, I, like, the Popo's dead. Like, yeah. he's he's dipping into the danger, which is when you side B mm -hmm. when you're underneath the stage. Yeah. I, I, like, you probably would have wanted to just up B after waiting a, a beat. Yep. And that probably would have done better. But that was kind of a. I don't think that was completely free for the Hawks, as it looked. Sean is playing extremely technically well. Yeah, this now. this is looking like Cardinal and Winners in Grand Finals. Same pretty. Ooh. Just keep him away. This is free now. Yep, this can happen. Oh, that was actually really good. Ooh, I don't like downside. that though. Yeah. But just get on stage. Is that it? Nice. It's Yep. All right. Excellent GG. play yeah. from both of them, but yeah. of Back all the things forth. that happened to that fox that game, very good on him too. He's yeah. up his ability to play at the level at which we all know he can play. I'm gonna stop monologuing, and we will probably also factually see him in finals. Yep. <laughs> Not only does the ice climber say he wants to run back, but likely. So we have loser semifinals happening off stage right now. Why is loser semis off stage? Is that Will Christian? Between Will and Christian, yeah. That's sick, actually. So that means that Lewis is back on stage in a moment. So then that means that yeah, this tournament's already almost over and it's 8:30. Yeah, I blame you guys. What I do? You, yeah, you of all the it. things that I what of all the things that happened this tournament, what did I do? Y'all could have held the. The only thing I did was play Eric Haddam, who showed up for a bit and played him for a while. Oh, he showed up. Yeah, he showed up with Jay. Oh, that's. I played Eric amazing. Haddam. Oh, Three stocked man. every single one of his secondaries and beat his mark like twice. Okay. <laughs> That's all I did. He's already aware of you, right? Huh? He's already aware of you, right? Like he, he knows who I am. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I almost I like went to like last hit last dog with him like a year ago at like the hog monthly for the new year. Uh huh. Yeah, he knows who I am. He was like, "Yo, I definitely know who you are." Oh, but right. I was like, "I'm James. What's up?" Yeah. And Jay was like, "You know who this is." I keep talking about yeah. it. Well, that, Yo, I don't cool. know why, but Jay like rides my dick whenever he's with people in hog. He always talks about me, I don't know why. James lifting his headset off and... What? <laughs> not like anyone can... Apparently people ride my dick really hard. <laughs> like, I didn't know. I don't know, Hugs. It could go either way. I never said that. No, I'm saying the fucking... He would definitely be top five in the field. This fucking Hugs is fantastic. I think it would be 10. I'd be at least 10. Who's 10 no, right now? definitely be top five. Who's 10 right now? Oh, Ricky. I know. I would be 10 right now. I think Lewis would be 10 right now. Yeah, Lewis would be 10 right now. Better than Ricky, for sure. Lewis is like 11 or 12 right now. Lewis is definitely better than Ricky. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Right and he's now. being lit. Uh, Ricky's never being lit. I don't know if Ricky is as good as he was at the beginning of summer. That was a good game. That was. Yeah, was good. I honestly think he was a little bit mad with his son. I, I feel like Ricky's had legit T.O. jobs for a while. Like, he, he does attend every event and he does play every chance he gets. Sometimes playing too much is not good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I feel like if you only play on th Thursdays every week, you're going to be fine. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Talking about a little bit of Connecticut Melee players and their rankings and the matches in between them, in case you don't know who any of these players are. These are actually very good players from Connecticut. I'm talking about a man named Ricky with a Fox player, and he is ranked currently number 10 in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. So, Eric the Chicken Connecticut the as a region, not the best. But to be top 10 in any I'm region so means you at least know what you're doing. Because we yep. have more than 10 players. Yes. This is a family stream. There yeah. goes now the... Uh... Bigot. <laughs> yes, Brian? Eric's definitely the bigot person on the screen right now. Definitely a bigot. Look at him. Yeah. A big odd, as they say. Yeah. He's as big as odds get. I'll be back, boys. He, he's more like a smollett. Alright, so... What we have here is my co-commentator. Do we have a grudge match going on? No. Grudge match. Why would I ever have a grudge match? Sludge match. Poisonous, you're toxic, I'm sitting under. Dreamland, poison paradise. Okay. Yep, that's how we got the grand finals. And that's why he's not in the. Alright, whatever. Josh Talk aside, I don't want to commentate friendly, this is awful. Because they speak for themselves, you know?
<sighs> so, vote in the stream. Press 1. If you think it's better, the audio is better now without the echo. Because I feel like James's commentary is invaluable. I feel like it's really important that he's, uh, that he's giving these, uh, dropping this information on us, dropping these opinions which are come from an enlightened place. But unfortunately, we have this situation where we have two microphones very close to each other. So, maybe the solution, now I want you guys to tell me in the stream, maybe the solution is that I get off commentary and I turn my microphone off whenever he's on, whenever he's talking. And same goes for everyone. Not to say that he doesn't have good co-commentators. Maybe I was good co-commentator. I'm just saying that maybe the audio is not important. Oh, turn around, trying to. All right, I looks like I'm commentating. Friendly. That's like I want to see more of that. So, uh, if you're new here, welcome to Westcom. Pretty cool. We are the number one, sorry, the number two uh, Melee Cruise team in Connecticut. We have no power ranked players, but we have the deepest team with the strongest players overall in Connecticut. So um, stop by, fight our spacies, fight our ice climbers. See what's up. Come to the Candlewood Monthlies. Come to Hall of Gaming. Hang out. Um, we play Thursdays and we play in the basement of this building pretty much every day until like three o'clock. Maybe we stop earlier. I know it depends. We don't do it on Thursdays, and we would love to host these things in the basement, but there's another event going on at the same time. That's the way it is. So, here comes our here comes sitting sitting pretty in Luther's final place, that long ass Luther semi's turn. Luis Riguero, aka Multi Can Melee. Yeah. Alright, and his microphone's off, he doesn't know it yet. So, um, I'll probably have to turn his microphone on for him. Here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Because, yeah, it's to conserve the sanity of the people listening at home right now. Alright, Which they're not, because it's just recording, as you can see. It's not actually streaming. I was just telling a yeah. funny. Anyway, so these are friendlies. Yeah. Friendlies between two players. One who could have probably won the tournament, one who probably will. That was pretty uh, nice. Not to say that he won't, just that statistically, resets are not that likely. Um... Yeah, in my opinion, um, James and Cart and uh, Sean are the probably the two best players here. I think definitely top three is definitely me, Sean, and James. I, I honestly think James is slightly better than me. Mm. Um, and, and Sean and I, I think we're 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 pretty much even in terms of, of skill. I feel like when you're up against uh, someone who you play a lot more of their against their character than they play against yours. You need to be vigilant because, like, they're going to they're going to eventually adapt and remember the things that they use to be ice climbers. Yeah. Because you because know, you know you have that advantage at the beginning, but it's easy to get, to get complacent and realize, wait a minute, he's catching up, and I'm going to have to throw something new at him. I need if I'm going to retain this advantage, or I'm going to need to play as if I never had this advantage and just hit him with the normal uh, neutral game. Yeah, I guess it's just nerves that's been an issue for me yeah. a lot, especially against PR players. Um, towards the towards the end, I definitely felt like you were you were kind of psyching yourself out a little bit. Yeah, that's that's something I got. Uh, that's something I do. But it's it's myself. not over. You know, there's still uh, know. there's still at least one more game you get to play. I know. I and, just yeah. yeah. I want to win this one, mm -hmm. even though there's like no, no prizes at stake. Cause, Cause I know I know I can beat Sean. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good momentum. Uh, I'd like to reiterate that this is not a tournament. Yeah. James and Sean are just uh, playing for at least for an extended period of time until yeah. they're sent me over had, there. A I'll be the honest, longest I spaces that have ever. I, I'll be honest, I had a few um, unfortunate events happen, like when Nana got knocked to the ledge and then I uh, backed through Fox and then he grabbed Ledge and Ledge Hogger. Uh -huh. I, was, I, I was shaking my head, I'm like, did I just really do that? I, I probably should have up thrown a forward throw. Oh. 
Yeah. In the last game, once you got rid of Nana on, on my last dog, I kind of knew that was it. <laughs> I really want to be like Chuda and make the Sopo comebacks, but um, it, it's just really hard with Sopo. Choose not a life of imitation, dude. Huh? Choose not a life of imitation. You have to just uh, you have to be yourself. Come back with Sopo. Make it your own thing. Don't make it a Chuda thing. Yeah. Yeah. By saying Chew Dad, he makes a comeback. Oh. Or his, I'm not saying I do what Chew Dad does. I, okay. I probably would never do the strategies. Mm. And that, that's just a long time of continuously playing the same game over and over again. Broadening it with experience in Brawl and Project M. Yeah. And focusing on melee. Not switching characters. Even though he has a competent uh, Peach, a competent Mark. I wonder how he would play with spaces. I wonder how good Chew Dad's spaces are. I, I he did go fox against Armada one time from what I heard. I, I skipped through the video, but it it wasn't that it was, good, uh, I guess. I mean, I'm sure his fox is decent, but um, I mean it's Armada you're going up against. And besides, he's not a fox man at all. Are you playing Marth right now? Is it James or is it? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say it's Sean probably playing Marth. Um, I honestly can't tell. I know they both played Marth. Yeah. Uh, they do. I mean, everyone plays. I used to be under this illusion. That all the top players play Fox, because this is bad. Because a long time ago, I saw like two double setups at the same time in Apex 2014. Top players who played a lot of other characters just doing Fox Zeros, double Hot Zero. I'm like, oh, everyone has a Fox. Like, Except for me. My no, hands are too slow. Not everyone has a Fox, but honestly, and a lot of people have confirmed this. I believe that uh, if you play Fox for any length of time, it speeds up your other characters that require fewer inputs per second. Because you're always gonna be looking for that thing you can do in between. Yeah. If you try and play Fox like a slow character, it works too. But you might as well just play Sheikah Marth at that point, or whoever the slow character that you play is. That was interesting. Yeah, I saw the uh, the dare to catch Fox at the ledge. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. So we have our loser sem losers semifinals are over. It looks like. So. All right. Okay. All right. So as soon as this friend leaves over, actually, we have Rectum Ranger versus Two Can. Rectum Ravager. Ravager. All right. All right. Rectum Ranger. Yeah. All right. All right. So minus eight. How about Radical Rectum? Yeah. Ooh. Rectum Ranger is not at this tournament. It's Rectum Ravager here. That sounds like the like a parody of those um, magazines for kids. The the Ranger Rick that you said as a kid. Ranger Rick had a six foot dick. He showed him to the lady next door. I know the whole lyric, but it's kind of childish, so I'm not gonna repeat it. I'm to repeat it here. Oh, poor Ambrose. He got stuck doing an 11 hour shift. No, oh, that sucks. I feel bad for him. I'm gonna have to go home after this. There's no way. Yeah. If, when this is over, like maybe we can leave early to go get wild wings. Because if we leave like at 10, I'm probably not gonna be able to go because I have work tomorrow at 6:30. Uh, that's the one bad side about having a, a an internship in the city. But, oh well. Yeah. All right. See you. Uh, all right. Lewis is on. I am going to hop off of commentary because I am itching to play at least one game of melee per year. So. Off I go.
Well into game one, we've got our two buddies here. Huh? Do, do we have someone else commentating? Coming over to help? How you doing? Good man, good. We're here in losers finals between Toucan and Rectum Ravager. Well, Toucan, as always, as always, on the ice climbers and yep. Rectum Ravager on Fox. Not a surprise. So, uh, pretty sure Lewis is up quite a bit oh, as yeah. far as uh, lifetime goes between those two. Yeah, although he, he is coming back, he did have Nana uh, dead for a while. Luckily, he's got that back, and he goes right for the wall. Yeah, there it is. War crimes, baby, war crimes. Yeah. I always love it when the wobble pushes, push them over the edge, and they're just hanging over yeah. the abyss, feet dangling. <laughs> they, this is when they look the most helpless. It's like the one scene from uh, The Dark Knight. He's got it over. Like, oh, where's Rachel? Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Only thing I can think of whenever I see that. Oh, 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 mash Oh, now I miss it, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I really like, uh, um, Blizzard out of those. Yeah. It's a great way to break up pressure. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Especially when you have a uh, Wispy on your side. Yeah, definitely. Wait, Wispy? Is that the name? I can't remember. Wispy the tree? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Wispy. I used to call it Breezy and I got yelled at all the time. Oh no, it's Wispy. Yeah. Oh. Nice guard opportunity, but. Yeah, missed the, uh, missed the, uh, punish on that recovery. Oh well. But he's got a comfy lead. Oh, that's the move. Yeah, space space man, for it with a stock. Yeah. No that nana sucks. shenanigans. <laughs> no shenanigans. Uh, that was a pretty clean stop by Will. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with that. Yeah. He's using platforms well. He's, uh... Going straight for now. Uh oh. Oh. That's, that's gonna that's do it. That's it. That's it. What game is this? I think this is end of game one right here. Okay. Unless, um... Yeah, end of game one right there. Alright. So game 2K one. And up. Yep. 1 0 in the best of 5. Yep. See if we have a switch coming out here. Might just be, they're jumping right into it. Ooh, no. You see a Pokemon Stadium? Or is that a Yoshi story? I don't know. We're going to Yoshi's. Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about Yoshi's. I think uh, I think Will was doing a good job of playing the platform game. Yeah. Um, so, but he's. he's Ooh. He is Ooh. doing a good job of keeping on Nana, though. Randall saving Nana. Yeah. Our Fox still goes in for a punish. Oh. Yeah, even on this small stage, Will is still using the platforms pretty well. Oh, man. Good match. Oh, yeah. If you're playing Fox, especially against an Ice Climbers, you have to know how to use platforms to your advantage. Yeah, so, definitely. uh, definitely seeing some good play from, uh, Ravager here. Question is right now, can we see Toucan trying to pull this back? We miss the up smash. <laughs> no, it's, Sopo, especially his back air, is pretty scary. And just solo Ice Climber grab follow-ups, still awesome. Oh, yeah. But... Will's gonna clean this up. Side B to prevent the Nana Taunt and yep. uh, quick stock. Will getting a little caught in his movement there. Oh yeah, I cannot. Could have punished the belay, but 
Oh, he's going in. That's oh. a dead, dead. Yeah, man. Nana's gone. Okay. Question is, can Toucan pull this back? Oh, Ooh. quick little ledge grab. That'll do yeah. it. 47, good percent. Oh. For uh, Rectum Ravager. Oh, right. yeah. Man, a safe by Vandal again. Good back to oh. box. Separated. Oh, there goes Nana. Dead Nana again. Will is taking Ooh, the lead. Oh, that's another stock. That's, that's rough. Oh, yeah. You need all the Sopo extra credit you can get. There's the Blizzard. I like it. There we go. Little Takes flow. the stock back. He's up. He's been doing well in this UFC's game, capitalizing everywhere he can. Oh yeah, I can definitely agree on that. I feel like he just missed a punch there with the um, the dash back onto the platform. That is unfortunate. But oh, yeah. there is no Nana in play, so uh, very doable for a Sopo, but very scary. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that is no, not that's not killing. Kill. That's not gonna kill. Dash nah, that's that's it though. Going into game two, I believe it's one one. Game three. Oh, wait, sorry, game three. <laughs> it's one one. My bad. All right, FD. Not surprised. Not surprised. Yeah, it's gonna gonna be hard to play keep away. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, oh, that's ride a... the frickin' airplane. Oh, Ooh. great save. Oh, that... that's a wobble. That's no a wobbles wobble. last game. That's a, That was a big no, deal. No, I thought, didn't he get one in the deal? Wasn't the first stock to a wobble? No, he, he came down from platform just down smashing. Oh, yeah, there yeah. Was no wobbles last game. Good no result, wobbles. Um, but <laughs> There's no, there no more wobbles on this stock for two can. And a up smash. Oh, actually, wait, no. Up air. Uh, up up throw up air, yep. Yep. See, this is the scary grab follow ups that Sopo has. Oh, yeah. Just fast fallers for breakfast. I'm not sure if that up tilt wanted to be an up air. He's definitely dashing, keeping his distance. Ooh, this is there's the shine. All right, 63 percent, not the worst. Oh man! Oh, and Nana stays alive. Although, oh, oh, never mind. Man. Nana's quick, gone. Yeah, another quick Nana kill. It's, it's gonna be big. If Avenger definitely knowing how to target the Nana, get the Nana out of play, keep Toucan from wobbling him. Down smash, such a powerful tool for my spawners. So much space, so fast. A little bit of a Whoa. flub, I, I feel. But I, I've I've never seen a fox fire like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, goes to ledge, but that's uh. Oh, ooh. I mean, on a stage with no platforms, that's basically your best bet to jump on ledge. Can't really move around too too much. Yeah, I, uh, I think he, he wants to keep center stage if he can, but... Oh, shines out. Oh, good pressure on the shield. I thought he was going to have that the blizzard. Oh, uh, dash attack is a great wobble setup. Pops, pops Fox right up. <laughs> Double down smash. Deleted that stock. Yeah. 85%, not bad. Still has Nana. Never mind. Nope. Belay no, he got it. Yeah, Nana's back. I like that Blizzard at the edge. Yeah, trying to get the corner yeah, pressure. Yeah, for forcing, uh, forcing Will to sweet spot. Stop. Oh, good shine. He wanted the grab. Ooh, that's a stock. Yeah, there's, there is something to be said for just going for Popo sometimes. You know, there, there's less 
less work involved in taking a stock. But there is a lot more risk. Uh, wrong shine on Nana. Trying to fall with the up air to can break it up. But, uh... Nana, nope, oh, Nana's, that's, never mind. That's Nana's gone. Nana. There we go. No more Nana's for game three. Oh, and no more and that's Popos either. Kill. Two one our ravagers. We head into game four. We got my water because I'm starting to get so slow. That could be very bad. <laughs> so game one was Dreamland, Yoshi's FD. Looks like we're going back. FD again. Yeah. There's a uh, best stage for ICs. Not close. Really nice safe pressure. Yeah, he is turning up the jets. He said, hey. I found a way through last game. I'm gonna keep up the pressure. Great shine. That oh, but belay. Actually just a good upbeat. Yeah, good um, upbeat. Sure you weren't able to save Nana, but at least you kept your stock. Yeah. Although okay. there goes the stock right there with commentator Chris. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> It's a uh, pretty fresh stock for uh, for Will right now. Yeah, Keeping fifteen percent. Yeah, that's one hit. He is not looking to do that. Yeah, he is. He is crossing him up constantly. Overshooting aerials. Oh, Blizzard. Oh, saving the Nana. And taking a stock on Fox at the same time. 30, yeah, 40% going into this. Pretty good. So, definitely Where's feels it? closer than last game was. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. He's, he's, oh, misses the re grab for the wobble. Drill grab. Up smash. That's going to take care of me. You can clear up this stock with 47. That'd be that'd be a clean. Great advantage. And there, there it is. It is. Mm -hmm. I never got why it's an eggplant. I mean, I know why they collect vegetables. Like that's their game. But like why eggplant? I, I, <laughs> I, I feel like I had an answer to this, but I don't remember the answer is. So, something something localization, I think. And then they just kind of kept it in both them. Yeah. I guess the eggplant is just like a really definitive shape. Like, you look at it, you, you know, you're not going to think it's an apple, you're not going to think it's a pear, you know that's an eggplant. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, back to the game. We lost a Nana. Yeah. <laughs> Fox. Able to cover. Oh. Misses the punish. Oh. No, but still takes a stock without taking any more damage. 76, no, well, 91, no Nana. Ooh, miss oh. Ledge Dash. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, oh, good oh, match. escapes it. Just drills everywhere. Ooh, good belay. Yeah, I like this Nana Blizzard. Up throw, dash tech, re grab, down air. There's the wobble. There's the wobble. And he's right. going into this next stock with only 37%. Still has Nana. This is going to be a very close match. Yeah. This is a uh, tournament stock for Jukin. And tournament Nana is still in play. That, I don't think he's going to be able to play. No, that, that Nana's gone. Cannot rely on wobbling to keep him in oh, this tournament. Here, here's the grab follow the There we grab. go. Forward throw. I think he was hoping for a bad tech. Uh, yeah, sadly enough, that bad tech did not come out from today. Oh, another re-grab. Get up attack. Good choice. Dash chase a little oh. too close. Up smash. And that's it. Good stuff. Ravager takes it, 3-1.
for loser semis, and we're going into grand finals. <laughs> Good stuff to two can. Right. Uh, we're looking at a. Wait, Will, what the fuck is your name? What? Rectum what? Uh, Rectum Ravager. Thrasher 69. Anal Thrasher. That's that's a good one. Uh, huh? Oh yeah, that's that's pretty mondo. Oh, you did you stream or not? Nice. Uh, yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh, fuck. There's shit everywhere, Jack. <laughs> Rectum Ravager. He had two rectums to ravage. He ravaged them both. That's um, that's shenanigans. Yo, is that like, is that the Pichu mod? You have Pichu mod on. My joke is like we have a we have a phone device. Alright. Uh, Alright, well, uh. Rectum Ravager. Versus Cardinal. Versus Cardinal. That, nah. Nah, oh, just recording, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my vote. Mm. So, uh. That loses final is gonna make a good bot for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if. God, I hope I didn't just screw this up. So, uh. Ooh. Going to Battlefield. Spacey Ditto. It's uh Fast and Furious. Wow. And, uh, Quick yeah. early lead, however. Not a very big one. Cardinal unironically playing the bird. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I, I <laughs> I got confused in the uh, selection. I thought Cardinal was playing Fox. No, no. Car Cardinal's playing the Falco. Alright, well, uh, Ravager we'll takes an early lead. Yeah. 32%, not bad for a first stock. Although he so is in a combo. These characters mess each other up. What a thing. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Cardinal with beautiful recover punishes. Auto cancel back here, walling him out. Oh, yeah. Stray hit, it's gonna lead to a stock. Yeah, there we go. And he takes it without taking any damage. Resets for a 3 3 game. Oh my god! So <laughs> well! <laughs> Crowd getting hype. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So close on that shine. So. Another, another back end. Very, very good uh, edge guard. Out of Cardinal here. Yeah. So, I think just the defensive game out of Cardinal is uh, coming into play here. He's just. Poking him out. Yeah. That, that short hop, you had definitely did toll on him. Bring him down to two stocks. Although, Cardinal, it's a quick combo out right off the bat. We have an uh. <laughs> SAO debates. Are you, is that what they're yelling about? <laughs> yeah. Oh my there's, uh, God. SAO debates going on in the back of the room. <laughs> Meanwhile, roll to the Ooh, ledge. Ooh, Cardinal gets a good F smash. So, uh, classically uh, in this matchup, uh, you are always at kill percent. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's uh, 
Oh. 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 Is that? Nope. We got a recovery and botch, that botch edge, edge grab just to save himself. Ooh, but a back throw out of Fox. Two Fox fires. Oh. Is that? That's not a kill. Jab up smash on the shield. Clayton. Lasers. Ooh, back and the back air claims the match. Or the game. Not the match. Still a few more to go for that. <laughs> Cardinal coming from winners, so uh yeah. he's gonna have to take this first three with five. If he guess he if he guesses next two, he wins. Yep. Going to Yoshi's. The just this this is uh, just the epitome of aggressive melee. Small stage, space animals. Yes. And a cloud that might save your life. Yes. If you're lucky. That shine good that shine you at? No, that's uh that's uh, shine to shine. He, uh, oh multi yeah. D yeah, DI'd really hard hard yeah. to the right. He was able to escape. That's uh Ooh. That's the bane of Falco, really, once uh, once you know how to implement Smash GI. In DI, this combo's pretty well, and off the top as well, evening it up 90%. We're clean, 3-3 three, three once more. Good grab follow-ups. Tech chase on the platform. Shield grab the Cardinal. Got to reset the camera, I should've done good, that. Good laser grab. Let me see if I can fix the camera. Seems like it's got moved a bit. There you go, much better. Oh, just what sitting there charging. Charge? Oh my lord. Oh, but he misses the second up air. Great short. Oh yeah. And a back air claims another stock. So he is at 102, not uh, too much of a lead. You don't want to see that. What? You never want to see oh, that. That's sad, dude. I mean, the eternal phrase, one stock is not a lead. Yeah. There, there's always a hope. Yeah, especially on this map. So, oh. oh. Rectum ravaging. Alright. This is, uh. We, we are essentially last game of the night. We are certain that Cardinal is on Falco, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. This, this is Cardinal's Falco. Okay. I, uh. I don't know if he strays away from the ditto, but um, I haven't seen the Rectum Ravager play Fox or play Falco in tournament. You played the last last game. Last set? Yeah, last no, set. No, he was Fox. No, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> For disclosure, I did not have caffeine all day. <laughs> Ooh, that good air dodge. Locking out the dash. Oh, and a nice off smash. Oh, Shy Guy's gonna slow down that narrow. Goes high. Oh, charges forward smash again. Was it a flub? Probably not. Was it cool? Jerry's out. One strong hit is gonna do it. it drops below, goes for Randall. Good option. Gets his ledge dash. Tech chase. He acts with up there. Ooh, tournament winner. Go to the ledge again. We've seen that a couple times now. Whipping an up smash. This is the back end of the shield. And a down smash, but picks up a down air. This is uh, going to be one hit, one strong hit. It's going to put him oh, in yeah. the position. Oh, yeah, one hit. Or off the top. Taco's fucking out of here. Yeah. Nair, Ooh. that's going to do it. That's enough. All right. Rectum Ravager up a clean stock. Hips dangerously low for my taste. 
Just trying to shield to break it up. Oh, Cardinal's turn. Oh, that is the third one you've seen. Oh my lord. Can't tell if it's nerves or just small mistakes. We didn't see him doing this earlier. I gotta say, he might be feeling the pressure at this point. It is Grins. Oh yeah. And this this could be his last game. It is 2-2, two, two, correct? Uh, yes. It is. Cardinal is definitely up two games. I don't think uh, American Raptor is taking a game yet in this set. Yes, 2-0, my bad. But it is uh, dead even right now. Um, shooting laser, lasers, fighting for a little bit of position. Up air, that's going to do it. See, uh, see if you can tack on any percent that lose on. Oh, almost a full drill. That is so much damage. Alright, 30%. It's, uh, it's gonna be close. Cardinal taking out the gun. A couple of short hop down is trying to chain him. Looks like he's trying to get him off the edge. Ooh. Shine bear. Nice shine the bear. Oh. Oh, get up. Oh. I am not. Missed the meteor. Dead is that it? B. That's game. That's, uh, that's, that's the tournament. Clean three for Cardinal. Takes the win. Yep. Coming from winners. Uh, didn't get the anime ending we wanted. Do we do we get um do we do uh uh champion interviews? You can go for it. Interview? <laughs> Have you ever done that before? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys later. Maybe another time. Maybe when there's actually a stream and we have good internet.